we're going to be focusing on is going to be the setup of the stroke. And it's really important because it's going to lay the foundation for the entire frame for your stroke. So if you would, for just a moment, imagine that you're going to do a pull-up. What I want you to do is I want you to place your hands up towards the bar where you would get that grip. For most of you, I'm going to imagine that you probably put your hands right here. And let me say that everybody's just going to be slightly different exactly where their power is. But the reason why you probably put your hands right here is this is where you have the most strength, the most balance, and the most power at your disposal. So this is where we're going to start our stroke from this basic premise. Now also, what I want you to do is imagine that you have a cardboard box that's in front of you about eye level. So you start by putting your hands up right here where you're going to do your pull up. And then what you do from fingertips to forearm, keep it one unit, and I want you to lightly set your hands on top of that box. Now what we've just achieved right there is what's called early vertical forearm, and that's the catch point of your stroke. You hear this buzzword a lot, but it's often kind of misunderstood. So let's go back over that again. Hands are up like you do a pull up, set your hands on top of the box. If I was to demonstrate it from here, you extend and pause, the elbow pops up, and then you have that nice early vertical forearm. Now, um, what's really important about this is this is where you're going to have your most access to your power. So what's really kind of neat about this is who uses this kind of pull? Well, if anybody's watched any Olympic swimming and any of the underwater footage, you will notice that almost all great athletes have access to this early vertical forearm. And it's not just in freestyle. Freestyle would be here. Butterfly would be here. And breaststroke would be here. So really, when you're learning the early vertical forearm, you're also learning a stroke application or technique that's going to apply to all of the strokes. So what we're going to do here, Tim, is I want you, Tim, to reach your hands out forward. Okay. Now, just taking your right arm, I want you to think about making sure that you're trying to keep your fingertips to your elbow about as straight as you possibly can. And I want you to lift up that elbow and start pressing back. So what Tim is doing right here is he's demonstrating, I want you to do that again a couple of times, is demonstrating an early vertical forearm. Notice that when Tim is doing this, that he's really trying to keep his elbows really high, near the surface of the water. Now, of course, they won't exactly be that high, but the idea is, is you're trying to create a very shallow drafted pull so you're not spreading out your energy too far. So that's excellent. So why don't you do it a couple of arms on both sides? All right. So when you're seeing that Tim is doing this, you're seeing his large muscle groups activate as he's getting that elbow into position and power. Now something that most swimmers do, or many swimmers do, is they swim with a dropped elbow. And what that means is, instead of having a high elbow catch or early vertical forearm, they're allowing the elbow to drop down. And Tim, why don't you go ahead and demonstrate that. When Tim is demonstrating that, what's happening is he's letting his elbow drop down and the water is sliding past his hand creating a very ineffective, inefficient pull. So let's go from an inefficient pull to a more effective pull with a high elbow forearm. See if you can pop those elbows up just, there you go, a little bit higher. And what's really neat to see on the ergometer is when Tim starts doing that, I can see that his power wattage is increasing. Now go back to the incorrect form with the dropped elbow. Not nearly as much power. So one of the best ways for you to set up the power for your stroke is to work on that early vertical catch or early vertical forearm. And that's one of the best ways that you're going to set your pull up for a very solid frame stroke.